What is going on, guys? It's Pro Player Apathy here, aka your favorite pro player. Not really, but either way, let's talk about the number one pro tip. It's a secret tip that I'll be sharing with you guys today. And pro players don't really necessarily talk about it because it's not something you want to talk about, I guess. It's something that you know and you just apply it to your gameplay and you don't just like make it public. But obviously, a lot of people already know about this. A lot of people have talked about this. And it's all over the internet. You guys probably know about this. Some of you, is, I will bring it up shortly. This guy tried to see for me. I'm not mad. I'm just a little bit upset. And that is another C4. I don't know what that is. So obviously, I'd love to inform you guys and give you guys tips when I can and try to make you guys better players. So that's why today I'm going to be you guys the number one best pro tip I can give you guys. And this guy is just lurking over here. And there's a lot of things that, you know, I thought of and I was like, what is the number one tip I can give you guys? Seriously, a pro like secret tip, something that's not talked about much, something that would actually elevate your gameplay and elevate your skill and something that is very used in Call of Duty. So I thought about it deeply and I processed the elimination, you know, because there is a lot of things that can make you a better player. There's a lot of factors that, you know, like pro players and amateurs, there's a, there's a lot of different things. And Honestly, I want to say the biggest thing and one of the biggest things is probably cameras in Call of Duty. Now, the best way to define it is cameras. And like I, I love to say, is cameraing people. And you're probably wondering, what is a camera? How do you camera people? I kind of camera that guy. And uh, camera is basically going very fast at a very fast rate. Jumping out, you know, whether it's jumping it out, uh, sprinting really quickly around a corner like you're gonna camera them you're basically gonna be able to see them a split second earlier than they can on their screen and as long as you have good reaction and good shots it does take skill and it does take a lot of practicing but as, as long as you have a really good shot like that and you have a good reaction time you can abuse this and dominate with this so like i said it does take practice it does take skill i'm surprised we are not really capping any points but it's all good i mean I'm gonna shot him out, booty cheek. I know there's a guy over here or not. So basically, one of the best ways to do it is jumping around a corner and shouldering for info. A lot of times you can shoulder for info and basically see where your enemy is. And that is one of the best ways to do it. So it's not only about cameraing, but it's also about doing it correctly. Now you don't always have to shoulder for the info, but once you know they're there and you just jump out at them, it's very hard for them to react. And I'm trying to see if someone's going to hop this A point so I can show you very quickly. I don't know what everyone else is doing, but they're not coming to A for some reason. All right, so here we go. We got some people on A, so I'm going to shoot really quickly. It took, finally took time. Now, I know he's a little weak, so I'm going to wait. And I'm just going to jump out. And I'm going to be able to kill both of them. Obviously, he missed a little bit, but that's the whole point. Like, he stood no chance. He was out in the open. I jumped around a corner very quickly. When I tell you this man stood no chance... This man literally stood no chance. So there is multiple ways to camera. One, it's just jumping around a corner very quickly and very fast. <laughs> yes, a sniper can counter you, but jumping around a corner very quickly, it's almost impossible to do anything about it. You have to hit amazing shots and it's very difficult to even react to it. Hitting a nice little bunny hop at the end of that is the icing on the cake if you want to hit a nice little bunny hop. It takes a little practicing, but the more you do it, I'm sure you'll get good at it. So that is one way to camera. Simply just jumping around the corner very quickly. And then you can hit, hit the nice little bunny hop for some more action. So one of the ways to camera is to just jump around the corner just like that. And hit a nice little bunny hop for the icing. Icing on the nice little cake. Now another way to camera also is just sprinting around a corner very quickly. Uh, popping that silence obviously can help with that and give you that nice little extra feel FOV. So he sees me obviously. So it's a bad example. I'm going to show you really quickly. Just like that. Boom, bada, bing. He couldn't react because I killed him so fast. Obviously, his teammate was able to trade me there. But I came around the corner very quickly and eliminated him before he could even shoot a bullet. Obviously, most of the time, the enemies are going to be able to hit you with a bullet or two. But majority of the times, you are going to win the gunfight. So remember, guys, you can jump around corners. Uh, that is the most efficient way to do it, especially in this game in Modern Warfare. Um, jump around the corners is elite. Jump around the corners to camera people by the time, one, you're flying mid-air. So it's going to be hard for them to, to snap on you and react on your body mid-air. And to top it off, you just fly at a very fast pace and already aiming in. And just like that, you're going to eliminate them almost every single time. It's very, 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 very hard to react and even to kill you in general. So that's one of the biggest things. And like I just said earlier, 
Another way to camera people is going around a corner very quickly and challenging someone. A lot of the times when you do that, though, you want to play for the information. So this is something I want to also bring up that pro players do. And I've talked about this in a, 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 lot, a video a while back. And just giving you guys some tips. So when you're clearing out areas and clearing out spaces, you want to know where the enemy is. You obviously want to know their location before you jump out like a maniac without having any knowledge of their location. So once you know their location, then you can obviously challenge out. So to give you an example, this guy, what the hell is that guy on master keyboard? Nice little, nice little, little challenge there. Snap on camera. So use shouldering to your advantage. Shoulder around the area, try to gain that info. And then as soon as you know where they're at, then you can challenge them out. Now, obviously you don't always want to challenge out in very far gunfights because that's not always going to work in your favor. Cameraing is a lot better. Oh no, there's a tank on me. Camera is a lot better when the enemy is closer because you can easily camera him just like that that's a nice little nice little strafe there now i know there's another guy here to my left so i'm gonna jump out look at that i was one shot he didn't even stand up he didn't even react he's like going so fast nice little camera right there and as you can see i'm winning a lot of these gunfights obviously i'm hitting good shots and you know i'm reacting quickly but i'm also winning these gunfights because i'm cameraing them i'm simply cameraing them and to go with that tip make sure when you're playing around the map try not to ever sit still in a position because you're gonna get camera and this is why people die they're like apathy i don't know what i'm doing wrong these people are killing me so fast or like i can't react i just die so quick it feels like i'm not even reacting you're probably getting camera so don't get camera do the cameraing hope you guys learned something new today like i said quick little tip as well with this make sure to not stay out in the open in a lot of situations in a lot of positions put yourself where you can get camera obviously you're gonna you're gonna be in position where you're gonna get camera you can't be perfect but try your best not to be don't be standing still out in the open be behind head glitches try to try to hide behind a wall so that is the number one pro secret tip i can give you guys it's something that's rarely ever talked about and it's such a big thing it's a, such a game changer obviously when you go from online to land it's not as bad like camera people isn't as useful but it's still good even on land and it's something that is abused online so you know if you're if you're tired of getting camera just camera them back man it's part of call of duty it's part of the game i seriously hope you enjoyed this cool tip make sure to drop that like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace i don't know i just dabbed